we begin, the topic is we has been blessed with all spiritually blessing in heavenly places in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I said we has been blessed with all spiritually blessing in heavenly places. Hallelujah. Heavenly place in Christ. In heavenly place in Christ. Now, we, we are going to find out that, oh, amen, what is the heavenly place that is in Christ. Amen. amen. What is the heavenly place in Christ? Because if Paul says we have been blessed with all spiritually blessing, that means that we have been blessed with all the blessing that God has been stored for you. Hallelujah. It says all spiritually blessing. It means you're not lacking no spiritually blessing. Because all means all. All of the spiritually blessing that God have for the church. God said you don't really got it. You all hear what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. He said you has been blessed. Hallelujah. Who has blessed us. The word has is not present tense. It's past tense. So it means it's already been done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It means it's already been done. This is why the scripture says that eyes have not seen, neither ears have heard, neither have entered in the hearts of man the things that God has prepared for them that love him. Hallelujah. Oh boy, but you have it, you have it, you have it. Yes. My God, you have it. Now, let us begin to uh, the, to find out or understand what is what Paul talks about when he talks about spiritually blessed. Now we know that it is the spiritual that creates the natural. We know that it is the spiritual, amen, that creates the natural. So, so I've been blessed with all spiritually blessing means I'm blessed now even though I have not yet seen it or we have not yet been manifested but I have to know that I have it. Yes, Amen. You have to know that you have it. Yes, Amen. Right. You have to know it. Amen. And let me show you some of the ways that you can know that you have been blessed with all spiritually blessing in heavenly place. You, you, you see uh, right here it, it, it says uh, it says it says in heavenly it says amen in heavenly what places amen no 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 uh, wrong translation it's supposed to be heavenly place singular heavenly place heavenly place because Jesus boom dwell in the heavenlies but he dwell in the heavenly place Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. And the heavenly place that God dwells is above the heavens. Amen. Hallelujah. I say the heavenly place that God, the heavenly place that God dwells is above the heavens. Heavens. Amen. Heaven one, heaven two is above heaven one and heaven two. But he, he dwells in not even eternity, because eternity is still time, it's still a part of time, even though it have no ending. But Jesus dwell in above eternity. We are about to see where is our blessing. Because when he talks about heavenly places in Christ, my God. In Christ. Oh boy, my see. In in Christ, in heavenly place, in Christ. So if my blessing is in heavenly place, in Christ, no one can curse me because I already blessed. No one can can steal that blessing because the blessing is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. That's where your blessing is. It is in Christ Jesus. Jesus, but you have to know it. Now, yes, go. We 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 we're gonna we we going to do some work. Amen. We can get some Bible. Amen. Some knowledge of the Word of God. Amen. Amen. 
Yes, but the first Timothy chapter 6 and verse 16. First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 16. First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 16. If you if you have it, say amen. Hallelujah. If you have it, say amen. First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 16. My God, thank you, Jesus. Yes, first Timothy 6 and verse 16. If you have it, Mr. Missionary, you can read it. Voice Timothy 6, voice. Voice 16. Go ahead, read. First Timothy 6, and verse 16, and it reads. Unapproachable light is higher than the heavenly realms. This unapproachable light that Jesus dwells in is beyond the the the, the heavenlies, heaven one and heaven two. So the third heaven is the unapproachable light. That's where Jesus lived. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Ephesians 
chapter 1 verse 20 let's go to verse 20 vision 1 verse 20 vision chapter 1 verse 20 and if you have it say amen go ahead and it reads all Timothy uh huh God was committed Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 20 if voice in Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 20. Ephesians, sorry. Hallelujah. Sorry, church. No problem. Ephesians 1 and verse 20. Ephesians 1 and verse 20. Uh, amen. If you have it, say amen. Amen. Go ahead, testify. <laughs> Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. Anyone? Go ahead. Which he works in Christ mm. when he was raised, when he raised him from the dead uh -huh. and, and seated him at his right hand in heavenly places. You hear that? Amen. In heavenly places. Hallelujah. Now we know that in heavenly places is a what? Is a unapproachable life that Jesus and he says that sitting in heavenly places it means that uh, Jesus Christ have fully authority and dominion Amen. hallelujah glory be to God when somebody is sitting down it means his work has been finished Hallelujah. It means that it is, it is the, he's finished his work. This is why he's sitting down in heavenly places. And our blessing is in the heavenly realm. This is why, saints of God, if the enemy can make you believe that you have to seek after your blessing, then he move you away from the things of God. The believer is the ready Bless. The Bible never says that we must seek after things, but the Bible says, for seeking the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all of these things shall be added unto you. Amen. We don't go after things, we go after God. We don't seek things, we seek after God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And if I, if I know that I'm blessed, it's just a matter of time for that blessing begin to manifest it in this realm, in this physical realm. Because why? I know that I'm blessed. Hallelujah. I know that I'm blessed. And the, bless, the blessing have nothing to do with material possession. Hallelujah. Uh, let me say it again. The blessing has nothing to do with material blessing, even though God wants you to be blessed in that area. But that is not the focus of God's will. The, pur the purpose of God's blessing, uh, the Bible says, glory be to God, it is the blessing of God that make it rich and added no sorrow with it. Hallelujah. Amen. And when God, the goodness of God that lead us into repentance, his blessing make it good. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And the Bible says it is God that give us power to get wealth that he may establish his covenant which he have swear with our father. Ah, God Almighty. The, the blessing is based on the covenant that God has made with Abraham. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It based on that covenant. But the spiritual blessing, the spiritual blessing obtain all, even the natural blessing. Because once you are blessed spiritually, you will become blessed naturally. Because God does the things, he does it once in the spirit and it manifests in the physical or the natural. Hallelujah. Anytime God get ready to do anything, he will send he will speak a word. And in that word is the solution, hallelujah, that carry out the plan and purpose of God for your life. One word can change a situation. Hallelujah. One word can bring reconciliation. Hallelujah. In a situation. One word from God can restore broken heart and restore broken life. Oh God, one word from God can 
defeat everything that the enemy has thrown at you, at you. One word from the living God. What to understand that this word come from God. I know that God is faithful. Who oh God to his word. He cannot lie. Impossible for him to lie. Hallelujah. So my blessing is in spiritual realm. Hallelujah. It is not a, a realm that you can see. This is why now Paul is saying in, in Ephesians 1 and verse 17. Paul began to tell them because our blessing is in the spiritual realm. Paul said is glory be to God. Amen. Glory be to God. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto thee, give unto you, hallelujah, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Oh God, what is he saying now? Uh, Paul said it for you uh, to download that spiritual blessing uh, until it becomes tangible. Uh, you will have to know that knowledge. Uh, knowledge is information uh, that can in God. Uh, knowledge is what brings revelation. Uh, it is the knowledge of the word of God. Uh, hallelujah. That enlighten the eyes of our understanding. Uh, so my understanding have an eye. Uh, and so God want me to understand what he already did for me. Uh, come on somebody. Uh, hallelujah. God doesn't want you uh, to go through life with not knowing uh, who he is and who you is. Uh, hallelujah. So every now and then uh, God has to reveal himself uh, by revelation. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, and this is why uh, revelation always tied to knowledge. Uh, because it is the knowledge of Jesus Christ which is the revelation uh, of Jesus Christ. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, and verse 18 he says now uh, that the eyes of understanding will be enlightened. Uh, that he may know uh, know it by God uh, that means you must have the information uh, you must have the understanding and the revelation uh, contained concerning the spiritual blessing uh, that God has blessed you uh, that is in heavenly place uh, hallelujah bless the name of Jesus uh, that we may know which is uh, the hope of his calling uh, and which is uh, the, the richness of the glory of his inheritance uh, that is in the sing somebody out of show glory uh, Jesus is saying, uh, what Paul is letting us know, church of the living God, uh, Paul is telling you, uh, hallelujah, uh, uh, the blessing that are spiritual, uh, they are your inheritance uh, that is in Christ Jesus. My God, uh, so my inheritance is not in the world, uh, it is in Christ Jesus, uh, it is in the realm of the spirit. Uh, uh, God, uh, God want to point the realm of the spirit uh, into physical, uh, and this is how it must be done. Uh, the Bible says, glory be to God, uh, in the beginning was the word, uh, uh, God Almighty, uh, in the beginning was the logos, uh, and the logos was with God and the locals was God. And the Bible let us know all things was made by the logos. The logos means spirit. It means that God himself in order to bring the manifestation of what was ever in him. He had to spoke it into existence. And that's why in Genesis 1, you hear the Bible says in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Do you know the Lord used the word use? Created is not the same word is make. Because to make something, something must be that really existed in order for you to make it. But when the Bible used create, it means in the divine thought and the intents uh, that come from God. Uh, it means only God himself can create. Uh, and so the Bible says in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Uh, uh, God just remember that uh, he was operating outside of uh, the unapproachable uh, light. Uh, because the Bible says he created the heaven and 
the earth. Huh? So where was God? If God was not in the earth and he was not in the heaven and he's the one that created heaven and the earth, God was in a place that called the unapproachable light that no man can see. That means this light is above the heaven. He dwells in a place above the earth and out of that approachable light, he said, let there be light. This is how God creates. He creates by the spoken word. And this is how you speak it. The Bible says in Romans 4 and verse 17 and 18. The Bible says God, hallelujah, who called those things that be not as do their were. Hallelujah, you gotta speak to exist in. You gotta speak your blessing into manifestation. You gotta speak your healing into manifestation. You gotta speak your favor into manifestation. Because God already bless you. But you just have to speak it. Oh God Almighty. You gotta speak it into existing. And the Bible declares He shows us even though in Genesis 1 He reveals His thought and his thought is this intense many times you read the word of the living God concerning you it is the mind of God concerning you and that's why the devil doesn't even know the next move of God concerning you oh God I come to tell you the devil don't know everything because he had to hear prophecy in order to know the intention of God concerning a, a nation or concerning a people. So yeah, that's why when prophecy is given, demons show up and they listen because the prophecy is the will and the intention of God concerning the man or concerning the woman. So now the devil has to fight Amen. Uh, try to fight the man now because he doesn't want you to believe it. Uh, hallelujah. That's why Paul told Timothy. Uh, he said, Timothy, uh, glory be to God. Amen. Glory be to God. Uh, I want you. Uh, glory be to God to contend for the faith. Uh, contend for the prophecy uh, that was spoken upon you. Uh, that he that through this prophecy uh, that you, Timothy, uh, may war a good warfare. Uh, prophecy brings fight. Uh, when God prophesies over your life, uh, the devil shows up and starts to attack you. Uh, or attack people around you. Huh? But you can't let the enemy huh, or make him feel like huh, that what he's doing on the outside huh, is affecting you on the inside. Huh? Remember where you are spiritually. Huh? The Bible says huh, we are sitting in heavenly places huh, in Christ Jesus. Huh? That's where I am. Huh? I uh, am here and I'm there. Huh? Glory be to God. I say I'm here and I'm there. You can see me here, but you can't see where I'm going. The power is not here. The power is where I locate. Oh God Almighty. Because once you connected to Christ, that power is flowing to your life. And it will affect you in the physical as well as in the spiritual. That's why I sing to God. We can a law situation huh? but change your mind huh? about the goodness of Jesus. Huh? You can't allow persecution huh? to change your testimony huh? about what God will and plan for your life. Huh? Oh, you might can't see it now, but I walk by faith huh? and not by sight. Huh? You better let no one tell you who you are. Huh? Oh, you better huh? you better agree with when God say you are and if God say you bless you gotta trump and get the devil I'm blessed and because I'm blessed I cannot be cursed because the Bible declare that they that bless
bless me, he will bless. And he that curse me, he will curse. Come on, somebody. I want you to know that the battle is not your sins of God. But the battle is the Lord, your God. Come on, somebody. I give a praise and glory. And shut the devil mouth. Shut the mouth of the accuser that tried to accuse you. That doesn't want you to believe that you are destined and you have been called according to the purpose in the plan of God. And the devil can't change the mind of God concerning you. Glory be to God. No wonder Paul said, Rejoice. And again I say unto you, Rejoice. Come on, somebody, we all are women king. Uh, this is a fixed fight. Uh, uh, God, uh, I want to tell your neighbors in the air. Uh, I'm in a fixed fight. Uh. And I'm destined uh, to win. Uh, I cannot lose. Uh, God, God already fixed the fight before he chose me. Uh, I said God already fixed the fight before he chose you. Uh, because the Bible says who God called. Uh, who God chose. Uh, who God called, then he also did predestined. Uh, and who God predestined, then he also did call. Uh, so anyway, their calling is uh, uh, connected to the purpose of God. Uh, and that's why the devil could not kill you when your mother was pregnant with you. That's why your mother couldn't have a miscarriage. Whether she want to be pregnant or don't want to be pregnant. You are destined. You have been predestined to come into this world. And your mother is the vessel that God used to bring you into this world. Come on somebody. That's why the devil could not abort you. Glory be to God. Oh God Almighty, your mother Carry some of us nine months and suffer nine months just to bring you into being, to bring you into this physical world. Because God has a plan and purpose for your life. You came in this world blessed. You hear what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Because the Bible declare that God declare the beginning from the end. That means God. God Almighty, let me explain it. How oh, God Almighty uh, to declare the beginning from the end. Uh, God is now. Uh, when they say God is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Uh, it means that God do it don't mean that God have a beginning because God doesn't have a beginning. Uh, it don't mean that God have an ending because God have no end. It means that God is in the beginning and the end at the same time. Look at your neighbor. I say, neighbor, God knows everything about me. He knows it. He knows how I'm going to end up. He knows that what is going to challenge me. He knows how I'm going to overcome. He knows that greater he that is in me than he that is in the world. He knows that I can do all things through him who strengthen me. Look at your neighbor. I say, neighbor, I can do it. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. blessed with all spiritually blessing. Whether you can feel it or not, you have to know that you are blessed. The Bible said the secret things belongs to the Lord, but the things which are revealed belongs to us and our children. There are some things that only God will reveal to you is through relationship. There gotta be a love relationship where you are seeking after God night and day. The Bible tells us that they meant that man ought to pray always. It means that you don't sleep, but always means you gotta always be ready to pray. Every chance you got, because what prayer does, it connects us by faith to the spiritual things what God already did. Hallelujah. And it brings it in manifestation. Come on somebody and give God praise. Hallelujah. This is why the enemy doesn't want you to understand who you are and to understand who God is. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God. God. Amen. He's waking. He's waking everything out according to his divine counsel and plan for my life. Hallelujah. That's why we can stand and say no weapon. 
form against us shall prosper. Based on what Jesus Christ that ready did and cannot prosper. Because the Bible says he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now watch it now. This is what get me. It say you shall abide under the what? Shadow of the Almighty. You mean that only the shadow of God can, can protect you. Yes, his shadow. Hallelujah. Can bring protection to a man, to a woman, and to a generation. The shadow of the Almighty. So what you abide under the shadow. A shadow is the reflection of, of something. God says, that's my shadow. Can keep you. Look at your neighbor as a neighbor. Abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So your shadow can keep you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And that's why Jesus said, I will never leave you, neither forsake you. But I will be with you even after the end of the ages. Come on, give him praise and glory. Here's where, we, here's where we shadow guarantee protection. Amen. Hallelujah. And he called his shadow dwell in the secret place of the most high. Shall abide under the shadow, my God. Shall abide under the shadow. Shall live. Shall dwell. That means it becomes your resident. Unmovable. Unbendable, unbreakable. It's like the three Hebrew boys say, We are fused to bear, to bow down. Uh, we are bow down to no images. We are bow down to no situation. We are bow down to nothing that comes our way. We know that our God is able to deliver us. And if you know it, give God praise. You are the bow to the deceit of the enemy. You are the bow to whatever the enemy tried to do in your life to make you afraid. But you can stand on the promises of the word of God. Ah, God knowing that God is not a man that he shall lie neither the son of man that he shall repent. When God said he's able to bring it to pass. I want you to know church of God we are winners and not losers. We are witnesses. And we are not yeah. We are more than conquerors. Through Christ. Strengthen us. Your strength and your help come from the Lord. The creator of the heaven and the earth. The redeemer of all mankind. Hallelujah. Church of God, a lot of times that the enemy will make you feel like you don't have nothing because when you don't know what God has given to you. <clears throat> the enemy will make you feel like nothing happened. Because he, he will attract you, he will keep you, your eyes on the physical, on the negative. He'll keep you on the negative and then he'll use you to beat you down. Amen. You hear what I say? I say that he will use you to beat you down. So you start condemning you because every failure and every slip and mess up you make, you condemn you. But he's using that to, to, be, to beat yourself down. Because he knows he know that you ever come, you ever come to understand and know who you are in Christ Jesus. As a new creature in Christ Jesus, you will begin to stand on all the promises that God has promised you. And you will believe that God will never leave you, neither forsake you, but he will be with you even the end of ages. I come to tell somebody today, don't you give up, don't you give up. Challenges are supposed to come. You're supposed to be persecuted. Yes, they're going to lie on you, they're going to hit you. All of that is natural. Hallelujah. Because if they did it to Jesus, they can do it to you. Hallelujah. But you might understand that you are blessed with all spiritually blessed in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. You don't go after a blessing. The Bible says in a 
blessing will follow you. Hallelujah. It will find you. You don't have to go after it because you have the blesser living inside of you. The blesser is the one that creates the blessing. The blesser is the one that makes provision for the blessing. The blesser is the one that opens doors that nobody can close. If you wait for a man to open the door, they can open it and they'll close it right in your face. But when God opens the door, Somebody who like you, who don't like you, they can't close the door because God opened the door. Look at your neighbor as a neighbor. I want you to know that when God opened the door, it doesn't matter who don't like you, they can never close. No man can close. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. When God opened it. Thank you, Father God. Let no man close. Lord, he is open. Say, I got a favor of my life. Say, I got the favor of the Lord on my life. Say, I'm walking in the favor of God. Say, I'm the apple of God's eyes. Say, I know that everything is working out for my good. Do you believe and give God praise? I say, if you believe that everything is working out for your good, give God praise and give God the glory. If you truly believe that everything is working together for your good, you ought to be thankful. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are to continue. We are to continue to bless him and give him glory and praise. Because we know without a doubt that it is working out for my good. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No matter what you're facing today, I come to encourage you as a man of God. Continue to stand strong in the liberty of Christ whereby you have been made free. Come on, somebody, stand in the liberty of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't you let the enemy play with your mind because the Bible says, and we know all things working together for your good. It's just, just given time, it's working together for your good. You just give it time, it's going to work together, amen, for your good. It's creating a testimony. Hallelujah. And they overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. Hallelujah. I say, and they overcome him, the devil, by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony because they did not love their life even up to death. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I want you to know shakes of the living God. Hallelujah. That you can make it. You can make it. You can make it. He has the God of good work in you is able to perform it. Amen. God doesn't start something that he cannot finish. I want you to know that when God started it, he's going to finish it. Hallelujah. Every time, man, every now and then, God has to reveal himself that he's still with you. As every now and then God have to let you know that I'm still here. I'm still here. This is why you was not overtaken. Oh God, I was test and trial. This is why amen that the enemy did not move you. This is why you're still able to be standing on the hell that you went through but you're still here in your right mind. Oh, that means that God is saying I am with you you always and I never leave you neither forsake you but I will be with you even up to the end of the ages people come people go but when God come he stays with you mother and father sisters and brothers will forsake you but God will never come on somebody say never say never your fire come and go, but when Jesus come, he comes to stay. Come on, somebody, lift your hand to heaven and tell the devil, I am blessed. And I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Say, I am the righteousness of God. 
in Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. I'm right standing with God. I'm in agreement with God's word. I know, oh God, that the enemy doesn't want me to succeed. But it's not up to the devil. It's up to you. Come on, somebody. If you are blessed, you better let the devil know I'm blessed. And if nothing you can do about it, I'm still blessed. I'm going to try, but I'm still blessed. I cry sometimes, but I'm still blessed. Sometimes I feel sorry for myself, but I'm still blessed. Hallelujah, I'm still blessed. I am blessed with all spiritually blessed in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. I need them to cheat you and stop you from being blessed. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah, you ain't got to go after it. It's going to follow you. It's going to locate you. It's going to find you. Come on, somebody. Give it praise and give it glory. Give God praise and give God glory. Hallelujah. And knowing that. Thank you, Father. That I'm blessed. I'm blessed with all spirit. That's it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Sometimes I do it my walk missionary. But I come to tell you. Stand for it. Continue to believe the word of God. Sometimes that. It seems like people around you excelling and it seems like you're going to continue to believe God. Wait, 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 wait on the Lord and be of good courage. That means you gotta wait. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. Jesus Christ has already did it for the church. This is a fixed fight. You know what a fixed fight? That means that it already win. You already win. Even though you have not yet reached to the end. But the end has already been fixed. It's already the, God already designed your end and that you will come up on top. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why Jeremiah said that. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Jeremiah said his thought or his plan for you is to walk good and not evil. Amen. To give you an expected ending. You hear that? To give you an expected ending. It doesn't matter where you are, but you gotta know that your ending is sure. That your ending is sure. That you gonna have an expected ending. In spite of what going on, I will, I will, my ending is brighter than my beginning. And I will not give up. I will not surrender. I will not fall into the devil plan. I will not think negative. I will not cause myself to be disqualified by wrong thinking. I will not, amen, speak against my destiny. Amen. You gotta watch how you speak. Sometimes you can speak against yourself because the Bible says by your words, by a man word, he's justified, and by a man word, he's condemned. You better stop speaking, I can, and start saying, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. You better stop saying, I can. And then start saying, Amen, glory be to God, my help coming from the Lord. Hallelujah, the creator of heaven and earth, the redeemer of all mankind, the reserver of my soul, the one that crowned me with love and kindness and tender mercy, the one that opened doors that no man can close, the one that gave me victory over all the enemy. Thanks be to God, who always calls us to triumph over the enemy. You want to thank God if you know uh, that you went through a test and come out of the test. Uh, hallelujah. You was not broken. You was not discouraged. You want to give God praise. Uh, hallelujah. That's the evidence of God being with you. Uh, hallelujah. He's a keeper in test. Uh, he's a keeper in trial. Uh, even though you're going through something. And some things you don't understand. Uh, hallelujah. But keep your mouth closed. Uh, and stay before the Lord. Uh, don't allow the enemy to call you to speak uh, against uh, what God is doing in your life. Uh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Uh, somebody say amen. Uh, amen. Hallelujah. Give God all the praise and glory. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 
We don't look at the things which are seen. For the things which you can see is subject to change. But the things that you can see is eternal. Saints of God, hallelujah. You might not get it yet. But it's a possibility before the day I end, you can have it. Don't say you won't have it. Say not yet. Not yet. Let you not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Because when you say you don't have it, you are literally saying you will never have it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But when you say you don't have it yet. You are saying there's a possibility before this day and hallelujah that, that I don't have, I will have. Yes. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. That, that that I don't have, I will have if I continue to hold on to the word of the living God. I am blessings of God. I want you to know that you are blessed. You are Bless you. Say, look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, I'm blessed. Hallelujah. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And I'm glad to be blessed. I am glad in my God. I take joy in being blessed. I say, I am joy and being blessed. Hallelujah. It's best to be blessed than to be cursed. When you are a child of God, you are not under curse. You are blessed. Hallelujah. You are under an open heaven. You're under an open heavens. And who God bless, let no man curse. When God bless you, no one can curse you. Because why? The blessing of the Lord make it rich and out of no sorrow. That's his word. Say God blessing makes you rich. And out of no sorrow. Say I am blessed. And in all spiritually blessing, all in, spiritual blessing in my Jesus. I shared with y'all a few weeks ago that one of the visions that I heard that I had that when the Lord began to allow the angel to sing, and they sing. And there was a plan they were singing to me is let me know what has already been done. Jesus. And they, they begin to sing, You are blessed. Amen. Yes, you are blessed. Amen. But the way they sing it, I never heard nothing like it before. Jesus. It sounds so pure, so clean. Full of the anointing. Jesus. And they say, You are blessed. Yes. You are, you are blessed. blessed. Yes, you are blessed. And sins of God, I want you to keep on reminding yourself. Yes, I'm blessed. blessed. Yes, I'm blessed. blessed. Yes, I'm blessed. In spite of the challenges, yes, I'm blessed. In spite of sometimes you cry every now and then, yes, I'm blessed. Hallelujah. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. My challenges. Mm. My challenges. And the tests and trials, they let me know that I'm blessed. Yes. I say your challenges and your tests and trials let you know you bless. Because the enemy don't fight no one that he don't have. All right. yes. ah. So if the enemy is fighting you, it means he won't have you. This is why he's throwing everything at you because he want to get you. Those who the devil have, he don't fight. That's true. Uh, he don't tempt them because all they automatically do is will. That's right. Hallelujah. But those who the devil don't have, then he have to tempt them. Yes, sir. So he can, so he can tempt them to do his will. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But we will not be, we will not allow the temper to succeed and cause us to yield to his to his corrupt ways. But we are going to overthrow the temper by, amen, glory be to God, override the temptation by the word of the living God. By standing on what God's word says. And knowing that if God has promised you that the same God that I promise you is the same God that will make it happen. He's going to bring it to pass. It's not your timing. It's not my timing. But 
but you just keep on believing and God will manifest it. Yes, he will. Amen. <laughs> so don't allow the enemy to condemn you. Amen. I say don't allow the enemy to condemn you. Amen. To make you feel guilty because he he's so wicked, he wicked. Make you feel bad about yourself. Your confidence. He breaks your confidence and make you feel like ah, I'm just a nobody. You really can't do anything for the Lord. Everything I do, I mess it up. Look at me, poor little me. And you open pretty body all by yourself. And see in this that's feeding you with all kinds of lies. And you just buy in those lies and believe in those lies. Rather than open up your mouth and say, look here, see that you is a liar. Because the Bible says who God called, then he also did predestined. And who God predestined, then he also did call. What shall we say then? Shall, amen. Glory be the God of God be for us and can be against us. Amen. That God will not put more on you than you can handle. That God will not put more on you than you can handle. So yes, don't go after blessing. We are, we carry the blessing. Amen. Don't go after blessing. The blessing is in you. If the blessing is in you, the blessing is in you. That's right. The blessing is the result of the blesser. That's right. Amen. Amen. Uh, if I got the blesser, I don't have to worry about being blessed because I know I'm blessed. I'm Amen. So I don't seek after blessing, but I seek after the kingdom. And the kingdom now is God's way or God's principle of doing things. Let me let me let me let me help some of y'all. It's learning the principle that release the blessing into manifestation. It's knowing the principle that release that governs your finance or oh, 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 your wealth. Amen. There's a principle. It's, it's the same way there's a principle that uh, that is in charge of your healing. Amen. So you can have in Christ how wealth and still be sick. Amen. Because until you activate the principle that apply to sickness. This is why Jesus says, I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom. Keys, 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 not keys. That means there's many principles that is a part of the kingdom. Amen. So when Jesus said, For seek ye the kingdom of heaven, and all of his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. You hear that? It's a package deal. It's a package deal. But now, now, what is the kingdom? Because he said, For seek the kingdom. So the word seek means to go, is to pursue it. So what what I supposed to be looking for? Hallelujah! Because if you don't know what is the kingdom, how do you know how to seek the kingdom? Okay, the the, the kingdom is God's way of doing things. That means you seek the way, the will, the will of God, because God does nothing outside of His will. So the kingdom is God's will of doing things. Amen. Hallelujah. The kingdom is the king and his dominion. The king and his dominion. The ruler, the ruler, the one that rules this kingdom. And that's Jesus. Amen. So his principle governs the kingdom. You can be in the kingdom of God suffer lack. Amen. Amen. You can be in the kingdom of God and still suffer sickness. Amen. Oh God am I. It is the it is the keys that you must know. It's the keys that you must know. Because every key 
Amen. Every key, every key have a different assignment, even though all the keys come from God. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. And all of them need key. And all of them need words or, or description. But each one of them have a different assignment. This is why he says, Amen, Paul tell Timothy, study to show yourself approved. Yes. Hallelujah. Unto God, Amen, have no need to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of God. Amen. Ah, that means right in mind, put in right order. Oh. This is for that. Right. This principle for that principle. It is rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. And it don't come naturally. It comes through studying. Somebody say studying. Studying. And studying is not reading. You read for knowledge, but you study for understanding. Amen. I say studying is not reading because we can read for knowledge and when we study for understanding. Amen. If I want understanding, then I have to study. If I want to gain knowledge about the scripture, then I read. But knowledge without understanding is no good to me. Because you can have the information but still don't know how to apply it. Because it's going to take understanding to apply the information. Solomon says that wisdom builds the house. But understanding establishes the house. And knowledge put everything in the rightful place. You see what I'm saying? So you can you can accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and and still be sick and still be dying, still by in poverty and go to heaven. Yeah. Amen. Your soul is saved, but you don't have the information that brings that makes you prosperous on this earth. Now when I say prosperous, I'm not talking about tricking nobody. I mean just operating in kingdom principles. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory be to God. Amen. You ain't got to bewitch nobody to give. You just operate in kingdom principle, and then all the money people will give. Amen. Amen. That's it. Hallelujah. Amen. Then blessing automatically will come your way because you're operating in the information that have to do with the kingdom. The information will have to do with your prosperity. Amen. Joshua said one a in Joshua one a he says this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. You hear that? So the word. That thou may make thy way prosperous and that you might have good success. You hear that? So the key is for prosperity and good success is the will of God. It's not allowing the will of God to depart out of your mouth. Your prosperity is in God's word. Hallelujah. Everything that we need, church of God, is in God's word. We need not to go around tricking and doing nothing sinful to get it. But if you abide in the word of God and the word abide in you, whatever you shall ask, it shall be given unto you. And the Bible says that. He says this is the confidence that we have in him, that we ask anything according to his will, and we know that he heard us. We know that we have the petition that we desire of him. And he says, cast not away therefore your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. For after you have done the will of God, you shall receive the promises. You all hear that? And over and over God keep reminding us that when we stand on the word of God, we will be successful. Every time we stand on the word of God, we will overcome. Every time we stand on the word of God, no, amen, nothing will be impossible to them that believe because I believe in what the word of God has said about my destiny. And Jesus says, and Jesus says, glory be to God. Amen. Jesus told the Jews, the Bible says in John 8, the Jews, the Bible says, and they believe God and they continue in his word. And then the Bible says, indeed, they shall be my disciples. And uh, disciples means disciples. 
disciplined one or three in one. See, when you are disciplined in the word of God, every solution, every problem you've got, you go to the word. Uh, the word becomes now the answer uh, or the solution for every trouble that you're facing in life. Uh, because I'm a, I'm a disciple. Uh, God, I discipline myself to go to the word. Let me see what God say about this sickness. He was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquity. And the chastisement of my peace was upon him and with his stripes I'm here. Why do I cry? You know? When I can dance, uh, amen, activate the principle and start speaking the word over my life. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, when I feel weak, uh, that means I'm lacking joy. Uh, because the Bible says the joy of the Lord is my strength. Uh, so anytime I feel weak, uh, I need to rejoice. Uh, and again, Paul said, rejoice. Rejoice! Any times I come in the stage of weakness, that means I gotta rejoice. Hallelujah! Stand rejoicing, Lord! I thank you, Lord! Your glory, I give a glory and praise. Rejoice because your strength, yeah, the joy of the Lord is your strength. When I feel heavy, there's a solution for heaviness. The Bible says, "Glory be to God." He will give us the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Sometimes you feel heavy, that you're stuck, that you want to praise God, no word coming out of your mouth. You know you want to be praising God, but it's like something sitting on you. That's when you know to say, Hallelujah, Lord, I release the power of praises against the spirit of heaviness. Hallelujah. Glory. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I know. Praising you, but it seems like I don't want to praise you. It means that the spirit of heaviness is sitting on you. That got you so heavy, got you so heavy. In church, in church, but heavy. Can't say a glory, can't say love. That's what you see. Things of God, you got to warn it. You got to release the power of praise. Even if you don't feel that, get up and say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I give you. And let me tell you, one of those thanking, one of those praise is for you. Gotta experience a breakthrough where the power of praises begin to show up against the spirits of heaviness that's trying to keep you heavy. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't want you to praise God. I want you to stay negative and keep your mind on your problems. Come on, somebody, it's a problem solver. The Bible says, cast all your cares upon me for why cares for you. Sins of God, it's time for us, amen, to lose every care, every care that you're trying to carry. Let it go, 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 let it go. Let Why are you trying to carry something that you have never been? God did not design you to carry it. God wants you to lose it so he can carry it. That's why he said, cast all your cares upon me for my cares for you. God want to carry you. Hallelujah, so God want to carry you. You ain't got to carry him, but he's carrying you. And if God is carrying you, that means your cares becomes his cares. And that makes you loose from your cares. Because you put all your cares upon Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to know things of God. Like any time God doing something in your life, the devil will try to stop what God is doing. And the way he tried, he tried to get you negative. He tried to get you you're angry. He tried to make you speak a word that would disqualify yourself. That's why hold your peace and let the Lord fight your battle. Victory, victory shall be mine. Hallelujah. Neighbor, I want you to know that if I keep my mouth closed and let God fight it, he's working it out for my good. He's working it out for my good. If I look like I'm losing it, but I cannot lose because greater are he that is in me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Then you can't lose. You can't lose. Hallelujah. You can't lose. So long that when we come to church, I'm about to land this. When we come to church, the enemy makes sure you come with baggage. Baggage. Baggage is gone. Oh God, and some of us that's like this in the realm of the spirit. See, people can't see it because they see you in the natural. But in the realm of the spirit, this is how your spirit looks. This is how your spirit looks. You can barely stand. 
because you're putting everything on yourself. The problem at home, the problem at work. Oh, your family ain't treating you good. Oh, it seems like everything is just going bad. Oh, it seems like God leave you. It seems like God ain't working with you. And that's all the lies the devil is telling you. And now you just, you just like this load, load down carrying stuff that you should not carry. And you come to church, and when you sit down, when you sit down, boom. Here comes a whole load sitting on you. The devil sitting on you in church. You want to shout, but shout will come out. You want to lift your hand and say glory, but your hand can't lift up. You want to stand up with your hand. It seems like something is keeping you down. Hallelujah. That's the spirit of heaviness. But if you start saying, Lord, I super employ the time of the prison against the spirit of heaviness. Every heavy spirit can lose her. They got to lose her. They got to lose her. They got to lose her. I've been destined. I've been told it. The praise call. I call to give it glory. Simon's a giving glory. Yes. My assignment's a praising. Yes. He didn't tell me praising when everything was going right. He said, Bless everything that I brought, praise the Lord. It doesn't matter how it looks. You better if you're breathing, just give God praise. Hallelujah. I said, if you're breathing, give God praise. It doesn't matter what you're going through. If you're breathing, you're still alive. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, that you know that you know that God is working everything together according to his divine purpose for your life. Hallelujah. Uh, see, this is when you get the devil mind, you frustrate the devil. When you praise it, God, rather than being soyful for yourself, uh, or rather than complaining about what you're going through, boy, just not open your mouth and say, uh, Oh God, Father, I just thank you. I thank you, God, because you never leave me, neither forsake me. Uh, I thank you, God, because you never put more on me than I can handle. Uh, I thank you, God, because when the, when the enemy comes in as a flood, uh, you say that the spirit of the Lord shall live a standard against the enemy. So I know I'm going through every storm that I can go through. But I know I'm higher than my storm. Because the Holy Ghost is living a standard against the enemy. Come on somebody. And I shall not fail. I will not fall. I will not go back. My mind is made up. I'm focused in doing the things of the Lord. There's a grace that God has placed upon you to run this race and be successful while you're running the race. Come on, somebody. I said there's a grace that Jesus has put upon you that will allow you not to bend to the devil. That will allow you not to give up to the devil. Will keep you moving on. Come on, somebody. I say it's the grace that empower you to do the will of him who sent you. Come on, give me praise and glory. And somebody shall glory. Shall glory. And when you shall glory, the devil, you is a liar. Oh, he's still a liar. He can't stop your destiny. He can't stop the plan and purpose of God for me. Life. I come to tell you sins of God. Sometimes it might look like it might look like that nothing is going well. But we don't walk by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. See, I walk by faith. It doesn't matter how it looks. Hallelujah. I know that God is with me. And the Bible reminds me God is with me as a mighty terrible one. Come on, somebody. If you believe and know that God is with you, give God praise in the storm. Hallelujah. Give God a praise in the storm. I should have been crying, but I decided not to cry. I want to 
I decided to give God glory. Lord, I thank you. You're working over my thing. Oh God, the secret things belong to the Lord. There's something you're about to reveal to me. The eyes of not seeing, neither ears of heard, neither entered in the hearts of man. And I gotta go to this in order for you to reveal what you have in store for me. Hallelujah. That's why I'm not gonna allow myself. Oh God, become I begin to speak over my own life and stop the process of God from taking me out. Come on, somebody, God can take you out of the storm. Do you know it? Hallelujah. Yes, sir. He's doing it for his glory. So you can have a testimony. Come on, somebody. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. The writer of Hebrews says, looking up to Jesus, who's the author and finisher of our faith. I don't look at the situation, I look at Jesus. I don't look at what I see, I look at Jesus. I don't look at how they sound, what they say. I look at Jesus. Because as long as you look at Jesus, he's the one that started it. And he's the one that will finish it. He started the race. He started the work in you. And he's going to finish it. And that's why you can't be discouraged. You can't be discouraged. But you got to learn how to give God praise uh, in every situation uh, that you find yourself in. Uh, you got to know how to give Him glory. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even though sometimes we don't like going through situations, we don't like going through pain, we don't like going through temptation, we just want a smooth ride. But yeah. saints of God, you're not going to have a smooth ride because Jesus Christ didn't have a smooth ride. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. He didn't have a smooth ride. And he being God himself. Amen. And the servant is not greater than the Lord. Hallelujah. He's the creator. So the creator was tempted in every area. But when yet sin, you better believe that you're going to be tempted. You better believe that they're going to persecute you. You better believe that they're going to lie on your day. You better believe that they're going to try and curse you. I say try. Because that's the only thing they can do is try. Because the Bible says no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you, you shall condemn it. Do you know the believer can never be cursed? The believer can never be cursed. The witch can't curse the believer. Oh, we man can't curse the believer. I don't care what you go to. There's no power that's greater than the supreme power. And that's the power that we have working in us. The power of the Lord Jesus Christ. And once we know it, once we know it, once we know it, the problem is a lot of times we don't know who is with us. We don't know what is up. Who does? This is why we start complaining because when we look at the challenges, it seems like you're alone. Saints of God, the Bible says he'll never leave you, neither will send you. He's right there. Sometimes he's quiet because he wants you to operate by faith. That's why he's quiet, but he's right there. He wants you to use your faith. Because without faith, it's impossible to please God. Hallelujah. David said, Do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I will fear no evil. So you, there got to be something about God that you know that causes you not to fear evil. Hallelujah. David said, I know something about God that will not allow me to fear no evil. Because because God is greater than my enemies. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you have been blessed with all spiritual blessings, sins of the living God, and it is time for the church just to walk in it. Hallelujah. Just walk in it. Just walk in it. Receive it by faith and believe it. Receive it by faith and believe it. And know that all things is working together for your good. Yes. Do you know it? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Knowing that your life is not an accident, you being here is not a mistake, it's a divine plan and purpose of God. Amen. I say your life is not an accident, you being here is not a mistake, it's a divine purpose and plan of God. Amen. 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 Whether you you was born in a job of your parents married or ain't married, it's not an accident. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not an accident. Because if God can take Real and then bring Obia Eden out of Real, then bring Jesse, then bring David. And then Jesus, 
what you think about you and me. Amen. And Rahab didn't have a good life. I mean, she didn't have a good testimony. But when God changed it, now she had a great testimony. Because Rahab was a prostitute. Say, so well, Jesus keep me, of course. <clears throat> so it doesn't matter where you be. What matters where you're going. All things are passed away. Behold, all things has become new. You are no longer the person that been there who do that. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Christ Jesus, all things has become new. And the old has passed away. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You have to decide either to hold on to your failure or forget your failure, your failures. Amen. <clears throat> hold on to the past or forget the past. Amen. Amen. Forgetting those things which are behind, I press towards the mark of the high calling of God that is in Christ Jesus. So there's somewhere, there's a place that I gotta go and I have to press. You are pressing to what? This is why many challenges is coming because you're pressing towards the mark. You gotta keep pressing. <clears throat> this trying to stop you, but keep moving. Hallelujah, keep moving, don't stop, don't stop. Your children trying to stop you, but keep moving. Uh, the neighbor trying to stop you, keep moving. The two people in the workplace trying to stop you, keep moving. Amen. You can't get angry, you can't get frustrated, you gotta keep on moving. You gotta keep your eyes on the, on the prize of the high calling of God. That's in Christ Jesus. I'm trying to get right there. I'm trying to get right there. I know the enemy is bringing all of this and all of that, but I can't focus on this. I got to I gotta continue to be focused on the mark Amen. of the high calling of God. Amen. So I got to forget those things. Does God forgive me? Why I can't forgive myself? Amen. If God decided to forget, why you don't decide? Is the devil when you don't want you to forget to keep you a combination. Amen. God Himself, He says, from the east, as far as from the east, from the west, the north, and the south, He said, He blot out your iniquity. That means God decided not to remember it no more. Amen. This is God. <laughs> Hallelujah. And we just want to remember. Stop, stop letting the devil bring up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, because the devil wants to trap you in the in the past so you can never succeed in the future. Amen. Amen. You see what I'm saying, things of God? Don't let your future be connected to your past or your past connected to your future. Because you can bring your future, your past into your future. Amen. By keep on revisiting the past. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. So yes, let's understand the love of God and the forgiveness of Christ Hallelujah. Jesus. That when Christ said he forgave you, he don't hold nothing against you. If you are truly repentant, God forgive you. Amen. The problem is you gotta forgive yourself. You gotta, you gotta let go and move on. Amen. You can't hold on to that. Stop looking at it. Because you keep looking at it. Whatever you look at, it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. You feed to it. And whatever you feed to becomes a stronghold. Hallelujah. Yes. Say the past is passed away. Yes. Say my future yes. is brighter. Yes. Day by day. Yes. With Jesus Christ. Yes. My future yes. become brighter. Yes. Day by day. Yes. Walking with Jesus. Yes. My future yes. becomes brighter. Yes. Day by day. Yes. Walking with Jesus. Yes. My future yes. becomes brighter. Day by day, walking with Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to know that things of God. Hallelujah. Forget the former things. For God said, Behold, I'm doing new things. Shall you not know it? God wants you to know what he's doing. In this hour, anybody need prayer? Before we listen.